Hello everyone, my name is Ishankar Saikia and I am a Solutions Technical Architect in Toughbook Android Engineering team of Panasonic North America. Today I'll be explaining about Toughbook OEM Config which is one of the tools in Productivity Plus software platform that allows you to configure and deploy Panasonic Android devices in development and deployment stage of a project. Before we see how to implement Toughbook OEM Config, in Panasonic Android devices, let me explain what is OEM config. OEM config is a standard that EMM or MDM providers and OEMs follow to make OEM specific management policies available to IT admins. It gets installed in an Android enterprise managed device in the form of an application which is hosted on Google Play Store or managed Google Play Store. OEM specific configuration and restrictions get silently installed in the device through EMM or MDM using Android enterprise. The diagram shown here gives an overview of the process with the main components. The OEM config app made by Panasonic is called Tahbook OEM config and it is part of our Productivity Plus software platform. Alright, now let's see how to implement it in a device through EMM or MDM or however you want to name it. The device we'll be looking at today is Tahbook FZ N1 and the MDM is AirWatch VMware Workspace ONE. Uh, this is how the MDM console looks like. The device screen which is shown here is from FCN1. Objective here is to configure barcode scanner button in the N1 and disable the back and recent button using OEM config. This is a simple example. As you can see on the, on the screen for the device, you see the, the back and the recent button are, are enabled. So there is a pre-install application, user button manager, you see the left and right side button are set to do nothing and we would want to enable those left and right side buttons to trigger the barcode scanner. So in the console you go to apps and books. So the goal here is to add the Tabbook OEM config from the list of applications. So you add the application under public, search for Tabbook OEM config. This lag which you are seeing is because the console is connecting to the Google Play server. So you give a name to it, description, assign it to the group where your device is. Then you go to application configuration. You will see there are a lot of settings here like Wi-Fi, time zone, language, IME, device admin. So under user button, you see this short press left side key, enter the number 17 that corresponds to a barcode scanner. You can find more details in the manual for these kind of numbers. So under kiosk mode, now you can disable the recent and the back button. And you save that, you create it and publish it. So now in the device you will see the book OEM config installed. Left and right side are also set to barcode scanner and the back and recent are gone now. It's completely uh, disabled. Under apps, you see it is Tabuk OEM config. So, this is how the device could be configured using Tabuk OEM config.